Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app 1-4 from RC Hibaler Mechanics of Materials 8 Edition. Now, according to this problem, we have to determine the internal normal force, shear force, and bending moment at point C in the beam. Now, to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions and we have to find the resultants of these distributed loading. So, let's start with drawing the support reactions. So at point A, I have a roller support. So I have a vertical reaction, support reaction at point A. At point B, I have a pin support. So I have a vertical support reaction and a horizontal support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is BX and this is BY. Similarly, this is AY. Now we have to find the resultant of these distributed loading, which we can simplify as a rectangular and a triangular distributed loading. So the rectangular distributed loading would look something like this. The height of this rectangle is 10 kN per meter and the length of this rectangle is 3 meters. And we know that to find the resultant, if I want to find the resultant force of this rectangular distributed loading, I have to find the area of this rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is length into height. So we have 10 into 3. So the resultant force comes out to be 30 kN. And where it will act? It will act halfway of 3 meters length. So it will act at 1.5 meters. So if I draw it on the diagram, it would look something like this. The 30 kN force would act halfway of 3 meters, so at 1.5 meters. Let's label them. So it's 30 kN and it is at a distance of 1.5 meters from point A. Now we have to find the resultant of this triangular distributed loading, which would look something like this. The height of this triangle is 10 kN per meter and the length of this triangle is also 3 meters. So to again find the resultant force for this triangular distributed loading, I have to find the area of the triangle. So it would be half into base into height. So it comes out to be 15 kN. This 15 kN resultant force for the triangular distributed loading would act at one third of the base of the triangle from the thicker end. So this is called the thicker end. And this is called the thinner end. So one third of the base from thicker end, it would be one third of three because the length or the base of the triangle is three. So this 15 kN force would be at one meters from the thicker end. And it would look something like this.
and this right here is the one meter distance. So now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point B equals to zero. I'm considering the counterclockwise moment as positive. And why I'm summing the moments at point B? Because at the point B, I have the maximum numbers of unknowns. Now, Bx and By will not produce any moment about point B because they are passing through it. So they have no momentum with respect to the point B, which is serving as a pivot point. This 15 kN force will try to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by this 15 kN force is taken as positive. And the moment arm is two meters. This 30 kN force is also trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point B. The moment produced by this 30 kN force is also taken as positive. And the moment arm is 4.5 meters. This A by vertical support reaction at point A will try to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this A by will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is six meters. equals to zero. So from here, a y comes out to be 27.5 exponent 3 Newton. Now we have to find the other support reactions. So for b x, we can apply summation of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we just have the bx. So bx equals to zero. So to find the value of by, we can apply the summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have a y plus b y minus 30 exponent three newtons minus 15 exponent three newtons equals to zero. Because we already have calculated the value of a y, which is 27.5 exponent 3 plus b y minus 30 exponent 3 minus 15 exponent 3 equals to 0. So from here, b y comes out to be. 17.5 exponent 3 newton. So now we have calculated all the support reactions as well and the resultant of the distributed loading. So now if I make a section, let me go back to the figure and let me copy it. Now, if I make a section at point C, the left hand side of the section would look something like this. I have a distributed loading, which is basically the rectangular. This is the point A and this is the point C and the length of this section of this portion is 3 meters and at point C I have a normal force and a shear force and I also do have a bending moment. Let's assume it in the counterclockwise direction. 
let's call this M. This right here is the normal force NC, and this is the shear force VC. And at point A, I have a vertical support reaction because of this roller. So this is Ay. And now we have to find the resultant of this rectangular distributed loading, which has a height of 10 kN per meter. And we already have calculated the resultant, which came out to be 30 kN. And this 30 kN resultant for the rectangular distributed loading, uh, that would look something like this. Acts at 1.5 meters. Now we can erase it. Now again, we have to apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point C equals to zero. I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. So VC and NC will not produce any moment about point C because they are passing through it. So they don't have any moment on with respect to the point C. The M is the internal bending moment, so we have to consider it. So M, and it's counterclockwise, so it will be taken as positive. The 30 kN force is trying to rotate the beam in the counterclockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by this 30 kN force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is the 1.5 meters. The AY is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by this AY will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is 3 meters equals to 0. And as we have already calculated the value of AY, which is 27.5 exponent 3. So if we substitute it into this equation, the bending moment at point C comes out to be 37.5 exponent 3 newtons meter. So this is our one of the answers. Now for and see the normal internal force at point C, we can apply summation of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. And since we have only the NC as the horizontal force, so it's zero. So this is our second answer. So now for shear force VC, we can apply the summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering the up direction as positive. So we have AY plus VC minus 30 kilonewtons, so 30 exponent 3 equals to zero. As we already have calculated the value of Ay, which is 27.5 exponent 3, Vc comes out to be 2.5 exponent 3 newton. So this is our third answer. And this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.